Hi everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Really excited today to talk about the new Trophy T22CC, um, all new for 2021. Um, you know, we're going to get into it in a second, but I just kind of want to give you a little bit of history about Trophy. Trophy is one of the more iconic brands in the marine industry. They've been out for many, many years. They've always been known for great fishing boat value, um, and they went away for a while, but now they're back. Um, and quite frankly, they're better than ever with new hull designs, you know, new features, new designs, and we're really excited to take a look today at the T22. So the first thing I want to talk about with these trophy boats is really, you know, how deep they are, how comfortable riding they are, because I think that's one of the key features. You know, if I even just standing here on the trailer, this is a 22 foot boat. It's a reasonably value priced boat, but it's it's deep. It's big. It's roomy. Um, we'll see that on the inside, but the hull is very very deep. As we look at the hull in the front of the you know front of the boat, you know, it's a very very deep V. You've got I think four strakes on each side to keep you stable side to side, but just a you know very very comfortable riding boat even if you get into a little bit of chop and that's one of the key features and, and really one of the one of the main benefits of the, of the trophy brand is just the ride quality you get for the value that you get so we'll first talk about the transom area of the t t22 there's actually two different versions of this boat there's the cc model which is the boat we're in now and then the cx model the primary difference between those two models is that the cc model is going to have this more of a fixed deck back here more of a fishing platform that you can use and step on and, and fish off of the CX model, this, this whole side is going to basically just be a fixed bench seat, more for family use or for people just to sit and, and ride in the boat. Um, this, this one's a little bit more versatile, but the nice thing about the CC model is that you can you know, convert this deck into two seats that you can sit on in the back. So if you're not fishing, you got some family, people out, you can just pop those seats up and you're good to go with uh, two additional seats that are actually you know, very comfortable seats, um, wide, comfortable, um, you know, and again, increasing a little bit of versatility on the CC model. As we move also in the transom area of the CC model, we do have an easy access live well right back here. There's actually two of them, one in the back right here, and then one in the built into the helm stand right here. So there's actually two different live wells. It's standard. You can use one of them as a bait well. You can use one of them as a cooler. It gives you a little bit of versatility in how you use the boat. So as we move into the cockpit of the T22, you know, just a few things I like to point out, um, you know, because at the end of the day, this is a really well-equipped boat. However, it's, you know, it's still a pretty good value when you compare that to some of the craziness that a lot of boats are going out there for the prices they're going for. But I really, really like this is everything that, you know, on this T-top, on this hump station is just very, very burly, very heavy duty. You know, it doesn't seem like they chimped at all on, you know, just the burliness of that, you know, piece. Um, you know, this is going to be a very, very stable setup for the T-top and just the whole boat in general with all the grab handles and stainless steel that the boat has. It just really is really well equipped. You know, a couple of other options and, you know, features that are included on this particular boat is you see the, the, the whole flooring has the sea deck option, you know, to kind of dress up the interior a little bit, give you a little bit more comfortable area to walk on. Sea deck's been used in boats for many, many years now and is really a kind of a prevalent, um, you know, premium feature. Um, this boat also is equipped with the Simrad 9-inch screen, um, which is going to communicate with the Mercury motor, um, give you good engine data, um, you know, obviously GPS functionality, but, uh, you know, just a, more of a, you know, rather than your traditional gauges, everything is going to be in the screen, all your engine data is going to be in there, so um, from a servicing perspective, there's an advantage to that as well. But uh, you know, just kind of a cool newer age dash setup um, is included on this boat, um, as well as you know other other features like courtesy lights and you know several other upgrades that this boat has. Talking a little bit more specific about the T-top and, and the dash here, um, again, going with the theme of everything being very heavy duty. You know, the windshield that they put on this boat isn't just some plexiglass little rinky-dink thing. It's you know it's got you know heavy duty mounts on it. You know, it gives you a lot of good protection. You know, again, the T-top, several grab handles around the boat. And the other cool thing I like about the T-top is that you know, most of the T-tops you'll find require tools in order to take the top portion of the T-top off and move it down. But this one, you actually just have two, two thumb screws, one on each side. You undo those and the whole tower pivots forward and folds down forward. So if you did get it in, need to get it into a garage area, you can pivot the whole tower without having to get tools and take the whole thing apart. So you can actually do it in a matter of seconds as opposed to you know several minutes to get the tower down. Um, the other thing about the helm station is that you do have a nice big storage compartment in the helm um, that has tons of, uh, you know, tons of uh, storage. You can use to put a bathroom in there, um, you know, but just in general, just a nice area to, to use that, um, you know, that you get in the center console boat. Okay, so as we move into the bow area of the T22, 
again, a lot of versatility here on this T22 bow. So as I'm sitting in this center area here, you know, you can potentially even get a second person, you know, depending on how many people you're sitting in the boat, you know, so a little bit wider area, but just a, just a huge area. Again, as I move up here, these uh, backrests come in and out. So if you're fishing, you can take all these cushions out and just have a deck. This actually, this cushion here completely removes you know, so you can, if you're fishing up here, you can, you can take this out, take all the cushions off and just fish. Or if you've got the family, you can sit plenty of people here easily. And, you know, myself being, a, you know, over six feet tall, you know, I'm easily moving my feet around. You know, I can lay out and lean and, and just have a ton of space, you know, in, in this bow area. So if you really think about it, you could, you know, pretty easily sit one, one, two, three, four, with the helm station, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine people in this boat comfortably facing forward for a day on the water. So on this particular T22 model, um, there's a water tank and actually you can, it's, it's a uh, uh, wash down station is included uh, as part of this boat um, as an option, it's an optional feature. Another thing that all the T-Series have is the um, self bailing cockpit. So if you wash down this entire boat, you know, it's actually gonna bail out, out into the water directly from the cockpit so you can see these fittings down here so it's not going to necessarily drain into your bilge area so that makes it a little bit more practical from a standpoint of cleaning the boat it's not like you're going to hose it down and they have to drain your bilge it'll actually most if you're getting it into the main cockpit area it's all going to come outside the boat another thing i want to talk about in this boat is the power um, so this particular boat we've equipped with the mercury 200 horsepower v6 engine um, so this boat, I think, is rated as high as 300 horsepower, but generally, um, you know, it actually runs really well with the 200. Um, you know, something you can opt for a 250 or a 300 horsepower if you so choose, but, you know, just to, you know, keep a good, you know, good overall performance for family use or fishing use, the 200 horsepower is a good option. The other thing you're gonna get when you jump up to, to these is upgraded steering systems, you know, so the boat will steer easier. Um, so really, a general great overall package for this boat you know, with a 200 horsepower or you can upgrade to a 250 or 300 horsepower if you so choose. Fishing and family and versatility is one of the keys to this Trophy T22 boat. So, ski tow bar, optional feature, but this is this particular boat has it. So if you're gonna be skiing out with the family, you can put that in, or if you're fishing, you can take that out. Again, you know, versatility is the name of the game and, and this boat really hits, all, hits on all fronts for versatility for family and fishing. So thanks again for checking out the Trophy T22 with us here at Buckeye Sports Center. For more information, visit our website, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. Thanks for watching.